Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson, RealAgriculture.com, at Wheat Pete. And we're back in a wheat research field here at Harrison with Ellen Sperry, General Manager for CNM Seeds. So Ellen, how many trials would you have in this field? So in the winter wheat alone, there's probably 20 trials. The springs, there's probably another 20. Between the two crops, I think we're around 5,000 plots, probably eight, eight or 900 different varieties, so yeah. So a whack of information, you're taking notes all the time. How many notes, like how much effort is that all add up to? Sure, so we start in the spring, or well, we start in the fall in the winter wheat, of course, but by the time you get through the season, maybe 20,000 uh, individual notes that myself and the crew are out doing. Some really exciting new things that you're working on. Tell us what, what you're learning here in the field. Sure, so we're always working on some new and exciting things, of course. So um, in this, this is our main site. We also run one up close to King Carden, but here we have uh, the Ontario Performance Trial, winter wheat, spring cereals as well, behind me. Um, we're also doing registration trials here for some of the sponsors to bring new varieties forward for farmers and then we also have a large number of screening lines here that we're bringing in from around the world. Um, we have a triticale trial back here and I have a hybrid rye trial over here. Hybrid rye course is to check uh, populations, planting populations, so slightly different from wheat yep. and growers always question us on uh, if that's really the rate they should be going at so that's what we're doing there. So, so some really cool stuff. Uh, hybrid rye is kind of neat. Uh, not a lot of rye grown in Ontario but maybe an opportunity for some rye. How much of a yield bump does hybrid rye give us? So hybrid rye, what we're finding uh, in our strip trials and in our yield trials is uh, anywhere up to 25 to 50 percent over conventionals. So, so yeah, a 50 percent yield boost. So that's yeah. that's like that to me. That's that's wow, yeah. man! Like that is cool it stuff. It is, and there's so, new ones coming that are supposedly higher than that as well. So. Yeah, well, the you breeders always they they always talk about new varieties that are going to give this big yield jump. Yeah, I believe it when it gets here. But anyway, the hybrid rye is, is pretty cool stuff. So so Ellen, you mentioned screening trials. So are you screening more now or less or what's changed in the industry that, that's helped that process? Yeah, certainly. So, um, so when we're visiting with breeders, certainly the international ones, in the past they've always asked about our ability to protect their intellectual property. Uh, so with the ratification of UPOV 91, that certainly meant a bigger investment in breeders bringing new genetics to us to try. So. so so that's like you there's more investment now in in the whole wheat because because the big game is is winter wheat right in Ontario that's right. really the big game yep. and that's where we've where we want more research and we've struggled to get there the public sector you know they, there's been some retirements they've replaced them so those those programs are building again but sort of a lag in between as they change researchers but in terms of the the rest of the world there's lots of wheat breeding it's a major crop UPOV 91 has been a big deal or not really? No, oh, it's been a big deal, certainly. It's been a big deal. Like I said, prior to that, there were companies wouldn't even bring their genetics here just for testing, never mind commercialization. So it's meant a, a big investment in, in those outside companies and coming to Canada and investing in, in testing their material here. Yeah, so we can look forward to some really exciting new genetics now that we are getting access to that, that bigger genetic pool. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, cool. So uh, as much as people talk about, you know, bin run seed, uh, I mean, it's really quite important if we want new wheat varieties to support these research programs and we have to do that somehow. And in Canada, the only way right now is certified seed, right? Correct. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We need that investment for sure. Yeah. So uh, challenge every grower to think about this. You want to keep up with corn you want to keep up with soybeans in Western Canada, you want to keep up with canola, man, if you're doing nothing but going to the bin and using farmer saved seed, yes, it's your right in Canada, but it really doesn't support the new genetics, that next step forward. So UPOV 91, huge benefit so we can screen these new trials, but you got to buy some certified seed as well. Ellen, keep up the good work. We'll look forward to some new genetics coming out of this program. Great. Absolutely. Thanks.